Today's video will cover a head-to-head -head battle between Mog MemeCoin and Floki MemeCoin. Meme coins are starting to um, establish a base and a rebound after the correction in the month of July and so far in August. So a lot of meme coins have done this type of correction, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up here between these two memes to look at the differences so that it can help you analyze the different charts that you'll face when you're looking at meme coins that I still believe will be a part of the bull run. It's a narrative. Many people are saying that it's dead and it's not going to go anywhere. I believe they are false. And the main reason for that is that many new investors will come into crypto in the upcoming months, especially when uh, Bitcoin will explode in price. And usually the new investors do not buy Bitcoin, do not buy Ethereum, do not buy Solana, do not buy any big market cap coin. They jump right in into memes. That's usually the entry point for most of them. And that's why I believe it's going to be an important narrative and it will play a role in this bull run. So let's go. We'll cover quickly the daily and the weekly of both memes. Start with MOG, M-O-G, and the thing that we see is that the correction occurred, like I indicated, since 21st of July up to now, but we used the base of the MA200 on the daily to stop our fall. That's what MOG did. It broke the MA50, broke, broke this trend line, so we remove that, broke also this trend line, so you remove that. And then what we have is this ongoing trend line here that I'm going to modify a little bit, just like that. And now it's following the ME200, pretty much. So the coin came back to the ME200 support that usually is a stronger support. It is calculated with the last 200 days of data and it, gave a, it gives a good indication of you know, the real price, let's say, of that specific meme coin. And that's why many investors use it as support levels in most of the cases, not only memes, but also other coins. So we see here that Mog touched the ME200 and it started to bounce back. So it has done this here. It has done this here a little away from the ME200, but here it did it in this trend line and also obviously in the initiation of this movement. So could this be a bottom for Mug? My belief is yes. Most of the coins have corrected already. And in my opinion, not financial advice, that's a great entry point if you are investing in meme coins. So keep that chart in mind and let's look at Floki. So this is the same daily chart, similar period, and we see that it's quite different. So here we got a correction, remove this. We had support here, remove this. And now we are more respecting these support levels than having a trend line. You could technically just maybe put a trend line here, but we just have two points. So we'll have to see if this confirms further on into the future. So what we see here for Floki versus Mog is that the coin topped around this level, the 32,000 level, and then it corrected, but it corrected beyond the ME200. So what does, does this mean? It means that Floki is weaker than Mog. Mog stopped at the ME200, Floki continue onwards towards this support around 10,000 level, then it stabilized at 12,000 and now it's trying to break up. We got a dead cross here. So the ME50 uh, broke down on the ME200. If we go back to MUG, that has not happened. The ME50 has been always above the ME200. This indicates a stronger asset versus this one. 
So here we separated, ME50 went up, ME200 went up, and now we have a dead cross. So that's a lot more downwards movement to, of the coin. That explains why we broke, and but also indicates a weakness in um, buyers and sellers in terms of support. Now, we are trying to bounce back exactly the same way as uh, Mog, but now we have a lot more work to do for Floki. We need to break the MA50 and then we need to break the MA200, something that Floki doesn't have to do. It just has to break the MA50. It's already moving away from the MA200. So here we will see what will happen for Floki, but this recent bounce on Floki will turn the MA50 that would eventually, if this trend of buying continues and uh, the price going up, that will trigger a turn here and will eventually get a golden cross. A golden cross is when the MA50 breaks the MA200 to the upside. That's bullish and that's probably that what's going to happen and we're going to go up to the right. That's what we want. But at this stage, like I just indicated, Floki is weaker than Mog. Floki has a lot more resistance levels to face than Mog. And therefore, which of the two assets do you think it's going to move faster and quicker? In my opinion, it's not Floki. It's going to be Mog. Now, let's analyze the weekly charts for both assets. So as you see here on the weekly chart, we have this super trend line that is parallel to the MA50, the very bullish. Therefore, this is the trend line for MUG and it's up to the right, that's what we want. So very bullish for MUG on the weekly chart, no worries. And now that we have bounce here, this is the green candle here, we barely see it, but that's what it is. Then we're keeping this trend line going. Floki now. Well, look, it's kind of different, but it's still bullish. So it's bullish for Floki also, who on the weekly, the trend line is following the MA50 on the weekly chart. So the patterns are not exactly the same, but they are similar. So Floki is weaker on the daily chart, more resistance to face. But in the weekly analysis, they have been following the MA50. Mog parallel, so a little upwards in the price action, that is strength. So when you're away from the MA50 and even higher than the MA50, this gives you strength. It means that it's stronger than the trend. But here we use the MA50 in the case of Floki as support to bounce back. Weaker on the daily, a little less strong for Floki on the weekly, but it's still a strong asset. Therefore, both of them are bullish on the weekly side. Both of them are bouncing, but if I had to put money on one of them, I would favor Mog versus Floki because of its stronger structure. It held better in the correction and it's bouncing faster and away from support than Floki. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is how you look at assets in parallel and establish who's stronger, who's faster, who will most probably move faster in the upcoming weeks. Memes are here to stay. They're going to provide returns for many investors. You just have to assign a small position, uh, a small portion of your portfolio to it. Don't take huge portions of your portfolio and put them on memes. It's still risky. So the main portions of your portfolio should be on bigger coins. And then you can have one, two or three memes that you select for this bull run. Not financial advice. Continue watching videos. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a head-to-head -head that will probably give you hints on what to do if you want to compare different assets. See you all on the next one.